feed me now. I'm starving. Ah, oh, second species of the day, guys. Beautiful. What's going on you guys and welcome to another episode of the Pond Chronicles and today I'm coming at you from Campbellsville, Kentucky once again. I'm trying something new. When I'm pan fishing, creek fishing, I'm usually throwing, you know, small ultralight crankbaits, the Helgramite, Blunt, something like that. But today I'm trying something new. Today I'm starting out with trying a caddis fly. When I looked at a caddis fly, it kind of looks like a smaller version of the helper mite. Let's put it to the test. See if we can actually catch some fish. Don't have to be donkeys, but catch some fish. Okay, we're gonna start the day off here at Campbellsville City Lake, and we're just gonna toss the caddis fly around. See if anything will bite. I'm really not sure how it's gonna handle. Um, this is something I'm not really, I haven't thrown it before, period. Don't know what I'm gonna catch, how big I'm gonna catch them, anything. Or the proper technique to use them. So kick back, relax, enjoy the scenery. Let's get to work. First catch of the day. Another one. Tag yum. These bluegills are liking this stone. Let's look at him. Not bad, not bad. Now there's plenty of ways you can rig this caddis fly up. Um, you could wacky rig it if you want to. A little bit bigger jig head, put it on a sinker and bobber. But all I'm doing with this one is, let me get it back, is I'm using a trout magnet hook. That's it. And it's letting it drop. Now you won't get a, a long cast with this that I found. I think the biggest is probably about maybe 10, 12 foot from where I'm standing. Um, but it's that subtleness and it's perfect. Ah, second species of the day, guys. Beautiful. Check it out. It's beautiful. On the Nico Caddis Fly. They are going through the punches. Talking about again, Nico Caddis Fly, right there, guys. Let's look at him one more time. Beautiful fish, going back in. And we ain't even been here 15 minutes. Not even 15 minutes, guys.
There's another one. Boom. A little bit bigger. Bluegill. This might be the biggest fish of the day so far. Look at it. Bam. Let him loose. And then go after some bass later on today after lunch. There's another one. Man, look at the belly on this. Beautiful bit orange belly there. I guess you can call it a red breast. Beautiful. Let's look at him real quick. One more time. Bam. Got another one. Ah, it came off. That one's bluegill. It's pandemonium. I know one thing, I mean, it's working pretty good right now on these panfish, but I really think this will be killer on the creeks and rivers. Got him. Another good size bluegill. Panfish pandemonium, guys. Panfish pandemonium. <clears throat> Let's look at this one. Bam. He shot off there. Let's try to get another one. I'm going to see how many I can get. In 30 to 45 minutes. There's another one. Oh, little donkeys. Little donkeys. It's definitely feeding time. On the caddis fly. This, my friends, quit. Is the biggest one of the day. They just keep getting bigger and bigger. Let's pop them off. There we go. There he is, guys. The biggest bluegill of the day. Let's let them loose. On fire. One more time. Guys, this is another species. Actually, the first one of these I've caught here at the lake at Campbellville City Lake. On the caddis fly. Little baby bass.
Loving it, guys. Loving it. What do you guys think this weighs? About 20 pounds? It's letting loose. Got one, guys. Little baby one. Perfect for catfish or bass bait. Little baby gill. This is the most people I've ever seen over here. There's usually some war mouths in here. Right around here. Bam. Another beautiful specimen. Beautiful fish. Man, look at the colors. These are the best colors yet, man. There we go. One last look at him. Then I'm trying to send him back. You're killing me, Smalls. Guys, I've only got one thing to say about this. This morning session at Campbellsville City Lake was by far the most productive fishing session I've had at that body of water at all. We went out there, used my 13 combo with four pound canine fluoro on it. A, I think it was one 24th ounce trout magnet head with that little small inch and a half Nico caddis fly. It was ringing that dinner bell. We caught several species from bluegill, sunfish, some red, red breast, even caught a small baby bass. And FYI, that was the very first bass that I've ever caught at that lake whatsoever. So I'm happy for that. So that's another check off the list. Now, I've got to start going for some bigger ones. I've got to get some catfish. And a few crop here too, too. Now you guys heard me say in the intro, this was stop one of this day. I'd initially plan on putting both of these locations into one episode. Well, because the bite was so strong and the little donkeys was hitting right and left when I was throwing them out there at the city lake, I decided that I would just put the city lake with the caddis fly in the one episode. In the next episode, at the next location, everything there. So if you guys like to see some more of my Campbellsville adventures, some of my river adventures, some stuff with my ultralight stuff in the marinas, donkey hunting at its finest, I'll put cards up here. In the future, you see that little question mark exclamation thing pop up, you might want to click it. Because those will be awesome videos, playlists that I've picked, handpicked for you guys to check out too. So guys, if you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up button. And please, check out the rest of the channel if you really like all of it and want to see some more collaborations that are coming up, more giveaways, more fishing adventures as I'm pushing myself out of the box and going after more species, more locations. Hit that subscribe button. And the best thing, guys, it don't cost a thing to do it. And then so that you guys will not miss out on the next episode of the Pond Chronicles and want to be the, one of the first people to know about it, hit that bell button right there on the right hand side. Until next time, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, but teach him and he'll never go hungry again. Top lines, everybody.
Later.